Hey guys, this is an IBO view tutorial. Um, here we will assemble an XYZ coordinate uh, path for some reaction. We will compute the intrinsic bond orbitals and we will visualize them using IBO view. Uh, to begin, I will cherry pick some of coordinates along the IRC path for the diels alder reaction that I have computed uh, previously. So here you can really use either the um, the scan that we um, had for the transition state search. Just make sure to delete the uh, dummy atoms because IBOU cannot digest them. Or you can really just take the um, IRC back and forth um, trajectories and use those if you want. The important part is that um, somewhere in the middle you have the transition state structure and somewhere at the beginning you have the reactant structure and somewhere in the end you have the products. That's really everything uh, you need. You can choose a number of steps. I have eight um, and the layout is basically the number of atoms for Diels Alder with my molecules over here is 22. Then you have a line for the title. If you don't want to have the title, it's fine. You can just keep the line, the blind, ooh, the line blank. Um, and then you just list the coordinates. Uh, to get the coordinates, there's several things you can do. You can either just copy this uh, this configuration and save it save as XYZ or an easier way to do is to click on build Cartesian editor and then here on the bottom left select XYZ and just copy paste those into the text file now uh, we want to have several frames so we have we want to have specific uh, steps along the path. For this you just add the next step right after the previous one. There's no blank line, no spaces, just again the number of atoms, the title, and then the XYZ coordinates. Now what you have to be very uh, careful with is that the carbon one that is over here is the same carbon one that is over here. So when you start playing around with different calculations that you have done, it's very easy to confuse some atoms, so make sure that they're in the same order in all of your frames. It's important. Okay, so now that you have cherry-picked the uh, coordinates for different frames, we can uh, save this whole thing as an XYZ file, and we will open this file in IBO view. This is just a drag kind of into the interactive window. And uh, now if we go into data sets and frames, you can see this weird like energy graph uh, that doesn't have any energy because these frames uh, are purely coordinates. There is no molecular orbitals attached to them. So the program doesn't know their energy but we will compute them. Um, first, just as a check, uh, click on render geometry and then atom label number, and then scroll through the different frames that you have to make sure that the same label on each atom remains uh, correct through all of the frames. Uh, when you're sure that everything's fine, you can go into Action Files and then click on Align Sort Frames. Uh, here, your, um, there's several things you can do. If you realize that some of your frames are misplaced, you can move them up or down. You can reverse the entire path if you realize that you have products at the beginning going to the words reaction, reactants at the end. You can revert everything. When you're happy with the sequence of frames, you click on Align now and you can close this window. Now you're sure that all of your frames have the same reference point and you're ready to compute the um, the orbitals. For this you can click on compute uh, analyze wave function and uh, I checked both the Hartree fog and the chemical analysis uh, and you can select uh, the basis set and the functionality. It's rather restrained. 
Um, so if you don't like uh, the DFT that is chosen here or you want to use a different basis set or if you have radicals um, then you you can compute the molecular orbitals for example in orca or gaussian and just import them uh, from uh, from there like i showed um, in the previous tutorial in ibo view intro uh, and uh, but if you're okay like just to check for yourself like the first time and you're okay with something rather crude you can just uh, use the default values that are given here so right now the program is running one cf cycle per frame to get the molecular orbitals and um, the energies and once it's done uh, you will see uh, like a message at the bottom that the wave function computation is finished uh, technically it should be quite fast unless your computer is busy doing other things. Uh, so that's it, it's over. And now I can close this window and uh, go into data sets. And now we will see that the energy graph is more uh, of an energy um, profile for a reaction. Uh, so we are ready right now to um, pick the uh, IBOs that participate really in the reaction. You can do this either by uh, really picking the atoms that you know um, have something to do with the bonds that will be formed or broken. So for example, if I click on C3 and then right click on it, there's something that says uh, find orbitals and it will give me the list of orbitals that um, you know that C3 participates in so I can double click uh, on one of those or um, I can scroll through this little wheel here where it says track orbital and you will notice this is white uh, horizontal line on the bottom that eventually will start wiggling around and once you, once you hit the molecular orbital the bonding orbital, sorry, um, that participates really in the reaction, you will see a dramatic change, like so. And then you click on the green bottom button here, it says show number of the orbital. So let's say 29, and it will display the orbital right here. So for me, I pick 29, 30, and 31. These are the orbitals that really participate in the uh, cycle formation. And so now I will just scroll through the different paths, uh, steps, and see how my orbitals change along the IRC path. So if you have a good graphical card, you can really scroll fast and make it into like a movie. I don't really have a good one, so mine struggles a little bit. Uh, so let's zoom in a little bit and see what's happening here. This is a transition state, and we see that there is a bond forming over here and another one over here. And we also notice that there is a strengthening of this um, C8 and C7 bond, which probably will become a double bond eventually. If I keep on scrolling, we will hit something that resembles much more the products. And then finally, we hit the actual products. So uh, if you want to have a smoother reaction path, you will need to pick more um, steps along the uh, IRC. So because now I have kind of a rough change from here to here. I realize but anyways you get the idea um, and uh, yeah I think that's all you can play around with how you render the orbitals again um, and um, but everything else is pretty much in the previous tutorial so I won't go into that again uh, you can uh, save the picture you can save the state um, and um, I think that's it for, for this. I hope it was clear. 
Um, and also don't forget that if you go onto the IBO View website, there is a lot of help there. Um, and uh, you can see other examples of IRC path on their website and also in the examples folder inside the IBO view folder itself. So have fun with that, play around and um, I hope you'll be able to use it for something cool. I'll see you next time.